大家好，我是 Peggy。If you like my videos and would like to support these lessons, check out my Patreon. Your support will help me continue creating free Chinese learning content on YouTube. In this lesson, we will learn ba constructs as imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are commands we give in order to ask or tell people to do something. 90% or more ba constructs are imperative sentences. In ba constructs, we use action verbs such as kai to drive, na to take or hand over, fang to place to instruct a movement the listener should do. Moreover, this action should be carried out onto a particular object. That is already known between the speaker and the listener. Now, suppose I work as a secretary in a company. A number of things need to get done, so my boss asks to see me and gives me a list of to-do things. 佳慧，你把明天的会议资料整理好，过来找我。我有几件事要请你处理。你等一下，把我的车开到门口。然后把钥匙拿给陈先生。明天的会议报告，你把重点放在客户需求。开会以前，把报告寄给我，让我先看过。离开办公室以前，记得把灯都关掉。还有，别忘了把门锁好。When asking someone to move a specific object from point A to point B, we use this sentence pattern. Indeed. Point A is the object's original location, while point B is its new location or a recipient. 把我的车开到门口。My boss asks me to drive her car from its original location to the new location, namely the front gate, 门口。把钥匙拿给陈先生。She requests that I hand over the key from my hand to another person or recipient. In this case, is Mr. Chen. 你把重点放在客户需求。Unlike the previous examples, this imperative sentence expresses an abstract idea. We are not moving a physical object between one physical location and another. Rather, the speaker asks the listener to place her focus on a concept. In this example, my boss asks me to place the meeting focus on customers' needs. Main point or focus in Chinese is 重点 while customers' needs is 客户需求把报告寄给我 The boss requests that I send the report from my computer to her. Whereas the previous structure, the speaker asks the listener to move a particular object from point A to point B. In the second imperative sentence structure, the speaker asks the listener to affect change upon a known object. Thus, we see ba. Object, verb, plus resultative complement. The resultative complement is the new state of the object after the action. The listener is now changing the state of the object. 你把明天的会议资料整理好。How appearing after the verb is a resultative complement, and it means that the listener should complete this action. And do it properly. In this example, my boss asks me to prepare properly tomorrow's meeting materials so that they are ready. 把门锁好 She further reminds me to lock the door properly before I leave the office. 把灯都关掉掉 means something disappearing or gone as the result of the action. Here, my boss asks me to turn off the light before leaving. The light turning off is the result. Check out other lessons in HSK Level Three Intermediate Chinese series to learn more useful sentence patterns in Chinese. 
And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. 我们下次见。Mm-hmm.